So something that's been popping up in the news today because of the unemployment is what the SOM rule. Um, so what is the SOM rule and why is it worth knowing? All right, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, let me share, share the chart here. So just in a broad sense, I'll let you describe kind of what it is. Yeah. Uh, in a broad sense, there are some rules and concepts that have had very high success rates at predicting recessions, yep. right? So one of which is when the three-month T-bill is paying more than the 10-year T-bill, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's a 94% accuracy rating that a recession is going to happen within 12 months. Mm -hmm. Well, that happened about 24 months ago. <laughs> So, and then the other one is the leading economic indicators, which I've talked about a lot. And it's someplace in that 94% success rate too when it goes negative. Mm -hmm. Well, that happened about 24 months also ago. And so theoretically, we should have been in a recession last October based on those two. And we're not, right? I mean, we're pretty far past that. Uh, and maybe they're just wrong in terms of the timeline and it's still going to happen. So this is one of those. It's got a high percentage of probability, yeah. right? And so, but I just want to couch this with be careful because all of the data that we talked about for the leading economic indicators and for that, you know, three month bill higher than 10 year, none of those included a pandemic mm -hmm. in that data set. Yeah. And that's the big difference with what we've been dealing with so far. So describe what this is. So, so this rule was um, from a former uh, Fed. Federal Reserve economist uh, Claudia Som, and her rule was basically, if the the la the average of the last three months is half a percent above the three month average or the low of the three month average of the previous twelve months, then you are into had a, in a recession. A recession has started. Um, well, this has to do with the unemployment rate, which was yeah. you know topical because it was just announced today. Um, and so, actually, uh, yesterday, Claudia Som basically said she doesn't think the economy is in recession. Um, she says that, that her indicator is kind of changed in a sense because, you know, changes in the labor supply. Uh, the pandemic and the recent jump in the immigration have kind of made this one a little bit less accurate. So she doesn't even feel that this is accurate, but it's popping up in the news a lot because of how many recessions is predicted prior. Yeah, and this is the data. So when it... When it becomes a, a signal, you know, when the song gets over half a percent there, you can see, you know, the, the, the recession had started in 1953, four months before that, two months before that for the 57, et cetera, all the way down. <clears throat> and so it's been quite accurate. And even the, the one that happened there in April of 2020, you know, the recession had started in February of 2020, two months before that, um, thanks to the pandemic. And uh, so... I think it's important. It's a good question. Uh, it's certainly something that's hitting the news right now. You just have to be a little careful. And she's saying the same thing that I'm saying in a way, which is just this time it's different. I mean, yeah. that's what's happening. Everybody's going back and saying, why isn't the T-bill and 10-year thing working like normal? Why isn't the leading economic indicator working like normal? And th this is just such a different environment. And unfortunately, some of the data that we have from the past is really kind of, you know, misleading because it didn't have a pandemic uh, <coughs> you know the last pandemic was 1918 and obviously you know the data from that time frame isn't really applicable to now it's mm -hmm. too long ago uh, so uh, anyway that that's you know that pent-up demand and that money coming out uh, has continued to you know keep the wolves at bay so to speak because we sh historically we should have had a recession when you go from zero on the lower end target for the feds to five and a quarter on the upper end target for the feds, you, you should have a recession. As a matter of fact, you know, Wall Street went nuts in 2023 saying we're going to have a recession. Yeah. Uh, remember, that was just everywhere. Uh, and they were all wrong. Uh, and, you know, maybe they were wrong just on timing. Maybe it'll happen in 2025. You know, we're going to have another recession, uh, definitely. But, you know, can we get out of this situation that we're in? Uh, would, I think it would have helped to have the Federal Reserve do a core point cut yesterday, you know, because, again, you know, things are softening up, at least in the labor market, you yeah. know, as far as that goes. But, yeah, anyway, so that's what this is about, and that's what they're talking about. So. Um.